Alrighty, so many fun goodies from the beauty side of Amazon and I'm excited to bring those to you. I do have a few fashion items as well. I will show you really quickly what I have on for a shirt. Um, this is a fun little rolled sleeve shirt right there, kind of a jersey knit. It's so sweet and cute and the V-neck and I got all of my jewelry off of Amazon as well obviously. Also, I have all kinds of really pretty rings on today, which I'm going to show you in a close up a couple of these rings in just a minute because I love them and I've been wearing them nonstop. I do have a couple of home goods. So we'll get into that as well. Thanks for being with me. Hit that like button if you wouldn't mind doing that before we get started and let's get rolling. Beginning with sharing with you the only skincare product that I have in this lineup. This is from VT Cosmetics. Just learned about this very recently. This is Sika and Hyalon Mild Riedel Shot 50 All Day Starter. It says the needle shot formula refines rough skin and dead skin cells to make natural smooth skin used at the first step of daily skincare. Okay, so I started with the 50 and I think they go up to 300. So you go 50, 100, 2, 3. What this is, is it's supposed to kind of prep your skin for everything to be able to go deeper. And when it says Riedel shot, they, they kind of used a little play on words there instead of needle. And it does feel a little prickly. This one doesn't at 50, but I do have one that's 100 and I, it was a little bit much for me. I wanted to start with the lower one, see if I liked it or not, and then bring it to you and show it to you. So these are supposed to be like as good as doing micro needling. Now, do I feel like it is? It might be. It might be every bit as good as doing micro needling because you can feel that little, I don't even know how, it's not a tingling. It feels rough on your skin when you put it on. And it's going to help you exfoliate for sure, but it's also going to help all of your other skincare penetrate. And I do feel like I'm feeling a higher benefit like when I use my retinol, because I only use this at night. I don't use it in the morning. But I do feel like I'm getting a little higher benefit from that. So this is something that I will continue to report on as I get into the higher numbers. I'm going to continue to use it because so far I'm really enjoying it. The next things I wanted to share with you is how much I am loving these two stick products from Kiko Milano. Now I know that Kiko Milano is a brand that we can get like all over the world, which I'm so glad because lots of times I'll sit here and I'll tell you gals about something and one of my international gals will say, well, I can't get that where I'm at. I think you can get this all over the place. So first of all is the contour stick. And I do have both of these on today, but that contour, not only has it got a very cool tone to it, but it's also got, it's almost like a duochrome contour, which is weird. So you've got a little bit of the warmth in there, but you've got that cool tone in there too. So it does the contour, but it also gives me a bronzing look. I really like this. I think this one is chocolate. Pretty sure it's chocolate. And then this next one is the Velvet Touch Cream Stick Blush. And I think this one is in 07. I believe this is just a rose called Velvet Rose, something like that. But it is a very, very pretty rose color. And I do have this one on today as well. I'm so very into cream blushes anyway. And this one just gives me all the good feels and really have been enjoying and liking it. It's really, really beautiful. So love those from Kiko Milano. And then also been loving this Moira highlighter that is so much like the Rare Beauty highlighter. This one is called the Dream Light highlighter. This one is in Honeysuckle. I've been using this in just about every video recently. So you know I really love it. So a little tiny bit of this goes such a long way across your blush. I usually put it on under, but I talked about it after the blush. Just so beautiful. Makes you look, just look glowy and dewy, and I just am really in love with this. So very, very pretty. Also, the lip combo that I have on, really, really enjoyed this one this month. And this is from Rimmel. This is the Exaggerate Rimmel Lip Liner. I love this because, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has an angle on it. And so it always feels like it's sharp and you feel like you can get the best line off of it. This one is called East End Snob, matches that blush pretty darn well. And it's just a pretty, pretty rose color, kind of a deepened mauvey rose. And then the Rimmel lipstick that I have is number 41. And this is just a pretty light pink color. So beautiful. Loved it. And then I just topped it off with some gloss. Also, I rediscovered and am in love again with this Physician's Formula Felt Tip Super Duper Fine Pen Eyeliner. 
And what I also love about this is it's the waterproof formula. So this is on all day when I go to take my makeup off at night. And this does the finest line. The reason that I love that is because my hands shake a little bit. Everybody knows this. I have tremors in my hands, but I am able to get a super fine line. I don't want to, it to look like I have black eyeliner on. What I want it to look like is just the base of my lashes are thicker. So getting in there with something that is super fine and just, you know, getting right down in there on that lash line as close as I possibly can is super important. And I have completely fallen in love with this again. I forgot how good it is from the drugstore. So glad that I saw this on Amazon just by chance as I was going through different stuff and re repurchased it. Sometimes I get off on tangents because I have so much to review for you guys, but I go back to stuff like this that is really good. Another one that I, I've mentioned before, but when I was using it again, I was like, okay, we need to talk about this one because it really is a good powder. Now this powder is from Wet n Wild. It came out last year. This is the five in one essence primer, finishing powder, smooths, conditions, refines, pores, balances, pre and post makeup powder. Okay. I did use this before my makeup today, before my primer. And I use this around my nose and my chin to keep from getting break of breakthrough increasing because that's where I get a lot of it and I do get a lot under my eyes But I don't want extra powder in my eyes because you know that dries you out But what I love about this a lot too is how really creamy it feels. It's very silky And I really like that about it. It's a very nice powder a tiny tiny bit goes a long way I was really very pleasantly surprised at how refined it is And so if you've been looking for a powder now, this is typical powder I mean anytime we put powder on our face as mature women we're going to look a little bit drier. Powder is there to help us blur our pores, smooth out texture. We, we need it, but we wanna be careful with it. And the other thing that helps a lot, if you need powder for texture or for pores, then you want to put a setting spray on top of it and the setting spray helps melt it all together. And then, you know, it looks wonderful. And this powder is a really nice one. Really surprised at how much I've been enjoying that one as well. And then my favorite eyelash growth serum has been taken off of Amazon. They're no longer selling it on Amazon. It's made in the Netherlands. And I was just a little bit sad because I've been using it for almost six years. But one thing that I kind of have been noticing lately, and I've been telling you guys this for a while, is that my skin has been getting really sensitive the older I get. And I've been noticing sometimes when I put that product on, it was, it was the X Lash. And when I put that product on, sometimes it would sting a little bit because my eyes were really sensitive. So I found this one and my friend Kimberly from Pretty Over 50, she's the one that I saw this from and I tried it and it doesn't do that. So I'm excited to be able to still help my eyelashes grow, but not have them, you know, have that hurt. And so I use this morning and night. This isn't as big a tube as the other one, but it is cheaper, which is nice. And it's just a brush. You can put this into your eyebrows if you want to. And it has tons of peptides and amino acids in it. So it's really a good one for helping to grow out your lashes and to grow in your eyebrows if you have sparse ones like I do. So really been enjoying this one as well. Excited to continue to use this and see how much more I like it as I go along. And then I wanna share this with you. So this is a really cool powder brush. It's a big, huge powder brush, but this comes in a set of like 16 brushes and I'll show you a picture of it right here but I bought the whole set for this powder brush. Look how cool this powder brush is. It's kind of rounded. It's not, you know, like the typical just dome shape powder brush. So it's rounded. It's very soft. Oh my word. It is very, very soft. I love this powder brush. I was surprised at how much I love this thing. It's got some beautiful other brushes in there too. One that is very much like the uh, BK Beauty Foundation brush. It's got some great other liner brushes in there that were different, but I bought the whole set of brushes for this brush. So I wanna tell you that the brushes are good. This brush is the bomb. It's just so good. I really love it. Okay, so now my cute little purse that I'm so excited about. This does have a strap that you can wear over your shoulder if you want to or cross body but this is the cutest dang purse to just have as a tote it has surprisingly a lot of oops a lot of room inside of it i'm carrying smaller purses nowadays because of my shoulder issues but it has this scarf wrapped around the handle which i think is so cute bunch of colors really cute smaller purse love the accent done in a taupe color 
and I just thought this looked so high-end and I'm really pleased with how beautiful this purse is and how high quality it looks. To me, it could be a designer purse sitting on a shelf somewhere. So pretty. Okay, now for those rings, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. It's gonna be kind of hard to see it up close, but I will try to hold as still as I possibly can. This ring right here is called London Topaz. This is a sterling silver ring. And then of course you have little CZs that are on the side of it. Just thought it was so pretty. And I've been wearing a lot of blue lately, so it's been really fun. And then this other ring that's right here, it has beautiful blue stones down in the base of it, but then it has this intricate silver work across it that's kind of scrolly and with the CZs in it, this is a beautiful ring. So the two complement each other so prettily. They're prettily so pretty and i just love how beautiful both of them are really have been enjoying both of them and yeah i wanted to definitely show those to you as well found some of the cutest tennies i am a tennis shoe lover but i usually only stick with sketchers but i found these and they're comfortable that i was shocked at that okay what i thought was so cute about it was they have a lot of fashion designs to them so they have different textures on them and then they have the silver little um, you know accent back here. So, you know, that's cute and fun, but they have to be comfortable and This has a wedge heel. So the heels this high in the back of it But it's also this high in the front of it. So it's not like it's a high heel It is a wedge heel like you would wear a sandal, but these are so dang cute on I can wear them with leggings with jeans, whatever and they're so dang cute on I love them. They're comfortable I can wear them from morning until night and still be comfortable in them they have a ton of different colors and designs to these if you don't like the white or you want something else these are cute they're really really cute and for a lady that doesn't like to walk around in heels these are super comfortable for me so i was really pleased with them and i think they're fun and something different instead of just the regular flat sneakers that we wear all the time okay i'll wrap it up with a couple of home items i thought these were so adorable this is a set of two dispensers and I did buy this a while ago, about a year or so ago when we moved into the house, but you can customize them with whatever you want on here. This, this goes in my kitchen, so it's hand soap and dish soap and so fun to have next to my sink instead of that soft soap bottle or the Dawn dish soap bottle. It's fun to have them in this and be able to just reach for them really fast and easy. And they're just so cute in my kitchen. I really love these. And then the last thing is my tea kettle. Last year before I moved into this house, I showed you a red one. But when we moved into this house, the color didn't go. So we got rid of that one. We got the white one. This is like a pot belly tea kettle. It's so cute and it looks vintage i mean it looks like it came straight out of like the 1930s or the 1940s so much fun and it does have the whistle on it and you can do that or not depending on what you want my son loves using this he uses it almost every day to make tea in this is just one of those that is functional but it doesn't have to be ugly on your stove it can be cute too so i really like this i think it comes in four colors, five colors maybe, might even come in more than that, but really fun and kind of vintage looking. And I love that look in my house anyway. So that's it for the Amazon favorites for the month of February. I do have a few others that will be listed in the box on my Amazon storefront and the link that you can go to and a bunch of them that I've kind of checked out for the month that I think are really cute, especially spring clothes. And let me know if you guys are wanting a spring clothing haul because I really want to do that, but I don't know how it would go over. Thanks so much for spending a bit of your time with me today. I'm very appreciative that you take time out of your schedule to spend with me and help support my channel. That really means a lot to me. I hope everybody is doing really well and please come see me again in my next video. Love you much. Bye friends.